Hello and welcome, this is GG Your Face, and I'm going to be talking about a game between Savior and a Korean Terran player. Savior is playing as the Red Zerg at the lower left hand corner, and the Terran player is going to be the Blue Terran at the upper right hand corner, and it looks like the Terran player is going to start off with a Supply Depot at the top of his ramp to try to block off that choke point. And if we take a look at the map, it is Zelnaga Caverns. Both players do have a natural expansion that is pretty difficult to take, as it does have four choke points. One over here behind these bushes, one set of destructible rocks, another choke point over here, and another choke point over here. A lot of Zerg players do like to expand, but in the last map, Savior did not really get the very, very early expansion. He actually got the extractor as well as the spawning pool before he had the hatchery up at his natural expansion. So we will see if he's going to do something different this game. And it looks like he's going to be pulling a drone off probably to start off a hatchery. And it does look like he's going to start off a hatchery at 14 population. In the meantime, the Terran player is going to be putting down barracks along with a refinery as well as additional SCVs. And it looks like he's going to be scouting with this one SCV. And Savior is going to be putting down a spawning pool perhaps very, very soon. And a spawning pool is going to go down once again at 14 for those of you keeping track and this SCB is coming across a marine is being produced as well as the orbital command and this SCB is going to be coming in contact with this hatchery pretty soon although he probably can't destroy it by himself he's going to run up the ramp and he's going to check that the expansion has gone down and now he's going to run up the ramp to see what he has what savior has inside his base he will spot the spawning pool as well as the extractor it's a very good idea to get early scouting information because for instance if you see your opponent with two gases you you will know that it is a more tech heavy build but of course he can also always cancel that gas and make you think <laughs> you know what he's doing but you really don't a tech lab has been completed for the barracks and we do see the first reaper coming out again for this Terran player and a couple of drones are going to be transferring to the hatchery almost very very nice timing there and the overlord is coming to the upper left hand corner the SCV is running about maybe he's thinking about putting down a bunker maybe not two queens are being produced for savior at the moment and looks like he did manage to bother the drones a little bit as a couple of zerglings are coming out and that will end the troublesome scv that this scv has done to the zero player one reaper is coming across the map that scv is still alive at the moment the reaper should be able to help out his scv buddy if he gets there in time metabolic boost just began researching for savior and he will take down that one zergling and he's also sc starting a very very early command center as well Savior is going to be putting down the creep tumor as his first duty as a queen and he's going to come out here and try to defend against this reaper. Creep tumor is very very necessary for the defense against reapers because they are extremely fast and since zerg units move faster on creep it is really good to have your creep spread especially connecting the two bases as well two additional barracks going up at the moment for the Terran player inside of his base he has one with a tech lab which allow the reaper to be built he does have two reapers outside particular army count 27 to 36 36 count for the zerg players savior and it looks like he's gonna come in here and try to do some damage and he's gonna be able to micro this queen pretty easily if he chooses to with those reapers and we do see concussive shell is being researched along with a bunker going down near the natural expansion of the Terran player right over here and he does have one marine guarding at the moment and the command center is going to be morphing into an orbital command these two reapers are going to come in once again the creep tumor has spread a little bit further a couple of zerglings are spawning their murder bottle who's about to be finished anytime and wow the reapers actually took down the creep tumor which will slow down the spread of creep and ooh, I think he's a little bit too greedy there allowing those Zerglings to get a hit, and I think he might be trying to pick up this queen. He should really try to pick up this queen. The queen is really low on HP, but he's gonna hit the hatchery instead. Oh man, those two Zerglings take down those two Reapers. He could have taken down the queen, but he probably didn't actually see that the queen was very low on HP once again. And this Marauder is trying to run back to his base, and there is one Overlord over here, one Overlord over here, and two ex reactors has gone up, and the Marauder has finally fallen over here. That is a nice puff of smoke. There's one SCV on the Zonaga Watchtower that the Zerglings have not destroyed, so the Terran player will know the Zerglings are coming, but that doesn't help him from losing one SCV, it looks like, and the second SCV might go down, no, actually moving it back a little bit. There is a bunker with one Marauder and one Marine inside of it. And we see the Lair Tech is about to be complete. Two additional extractors going up for the Zerg player, and another SCV falls. 
and he's just really bothering the Terran player right now with a lot of Zerglings. If we take a look at the army size, 47 to 60 in favor of the Zerg player's savior. And if we take a look at the unit count, we have 14 Zerglings versus 5 Marines and 3 Marauders. Not looking too good for the Terran player at the moment. He's going to come in here and take down another 2 SCVs. Or no, just 1 SCV. And these Zerglings are very, very fast with their Zergling speed. Both players with extremely high APM. And that is a lot of action for very, very few units. I can't wait for them to get a little bit more. Bailing and a Spire is going down for savior inside of his base. And these Zerglings are looking ever so menacing. They want to come in here and do some additional harassment because when you have units, you should harass and there is a couple of marines in the back that will protect these scvs it looks like and i think he might be trying to do something no a starport has recently begun instruction inside the terran's base and a couple of additional supply depots as well but i think he was supply block for a moment there 61 to about 68 it looks like 70 64 to 70 right now is the army count and we do see a spine crawler in a defensive position and it looks like Savior is going to work on the set of destructible rocks to grab his third expansion and the Terran player is constructing two supply depot here blocking off one of the chokes but it, he really needs to find something to defend those things because it will slow down your opponent but it really won't stop any attacks from coming because they can just take down your supply depot and you will be supply block but that is an excellent usage of the supply depot and we do see a couple of infantry units moving across the map and this one zergling will spot it for savior as savior is making a lot of mutilists at the moment he's making nine mutilists and we do see a nice group of infantry units moving back to the base actually right now and these set of destructible rocks are about to be going down for savior so he could be able to grab that another expansion and be able to defend it pretty easily and this is a very very nice formation for the Terran player. He has two engineering bays and two supply depots blocking one choke. Two sets of supply depots blocking another one. A, sub a destructible rocks blocking another choke. So he, he only has to worry about this one choke point, which has a bunker overlooking it. Very, very nice building placement for the Terran player. A couple of Mulisk along with a set of Zerglings working on this set of destructible rocks trying to grab that gold expansion and with easy plus one attack for the flyers as well as the centrifugal hooks upgrade for the banelings. And if we take a look at the income right now for both players, very, very close because the mules are making a very nice difference for the Terran player. And he's going to try to snipe this SCV before he builds the turret, and he will be able to snipe it. And a couple of Marines are going to come up. They stem and they run, and the mules are actually running away pretty fast. <laughs> the Siege Tech is about to be finished along with the Combat Shield for the Marines, which will give them 10 more HP, which is pretty vital, especially against a Zerg force of bailings and these mules are going to try to come in here to do some additional harassment as two missile turrets are going up they're going to try to pick off one SCV the SCV is very very close to death but not quite there 110 to 116 very very even for these players and two additional hatcheries are going down one is going up here one is inside the base of savior so he's going to have four hatcheries a lot of production and a lot of Zerglings are being made at the moment. Some of these Zerglings could probably turn into Banelings, and that would help a lot. And we do see a nice sizable force for the Terran player moving forward. Marine, Marauders, and Tanks. No Medivacs just yet, but he does have a Starport. Two Medivacs coming right now, and these Mulas will force him to retreat just a little bit. And he's going to work on the Supply Depot. If we take a look at the Army Count right now, I think he might be able to Supply Block his opponent. If he can take down this supply depot but it does not look like he will be able to I think he really needs more medevacs he does have a very very nice size yellow HP army and it looks like his opponent will be supply block once that burns down or it's not gonna burn down as if he does come over to heal it and in the meantime the Terran player is moving out to the middle of the map there's a huge clump of Zerglings and oh no these siege tanks are caught a little bit out of position these siege tanks are just sieging up that is not good that's not what you want and now wow that is a lot of green goo shooting at these marines the marines trying desperately to run away but wow that one bailing killed off about seven marines by himself and there's one SCV hang out here near the base and he's just wondering hmm nothing's happening to me let me spin around a couple of times and we do see a couple of bailings being morphed in at the moment for savior neither player has any upgrades for their units just yet but they're both massing at a massive level and the mules are going to come in here once again does take down SCV will force a cancel on the supply depot and the medevac is coming a little bit out of position that medevac and I think he might try to snipe it no his mules is really low on HP so he's going to run away savior has been very very nicely macroing up we do see a 
very very devious medevac coming from the west side and at the same time he is gonna get harassed in the middle or maybe not and he is gonna drop here off on the side in the meantime Eulis here harassing those engineering bay and we do see some of these drones are falling but as the drones are falling to those marines and the lower half of your screen we do see savior here coming with the zerglings and the bailings and they're doing a tremendous amount of damage and while wow, he's actually getting inside but he does close off the supply depot in time and now these marines healing with the medevacs are actually able to hold off this attack very very surprising nice defender by the terran player but if we take a look at the army size he is actually hurting quite a bit 88 to 119 and the income he is actually ahead how could that be the zero player while well, actually managed to kill off a whole bunch of drones in the meantime and he only lost about three marines oh actually he lost five marines now all eight marines and two medevacs and wow a very very nice defend and harass there by the terran player simultaneously very very nice usage of their apm as both these players have incredibly high apm i have like one apm per minute I mean 1 APM and we do see Savior coming here to the side harassing the supply depot. He is building additional drones to replace some of the drones that he lost and these units do run over but they could not make it in time. We do see 4 base Zerg at the moment. The 4th base is not getting saturated. A couple of drones are coming over to the gold expansion. You should really saturate the gold expansion because that will yield a lot of minerals very very fast. The infantry units are a little bit upgraded. There are 1-1 one, one upgraded whereas the flying upgrades have only 1-0 and now they're working on the Cyrox. Getting that 3rd expansion very very important but he really does not want to get the gold expansion it looks like he really wants to hold his side of the map and expand here a little bit safer I guess as there is one choke over here making it a little bit more difficult but the choke is entering a little bit of the high ground so it's a little bit strange a couple of mules coming in here will be caught out of the position by some of these marines the marines are working on the side rocks and I think the mules are thinking about harassing the side of the supply depot again a couple of the units move back but I don't think that is sufficient there is not that many marines and a couple of marines are running back and he's actually forcing a Terran player to use a lot of that drug and these medevacs are very very low on energy and they're working once again on the destructible rocks and a couple of siege tanks might be thinking about making a push here he's gonna be destroying some of these creep tumors army size 128 to 168 or so slight in favor of savior the Zerg player and he's still flying around with these mules and he looks like it's going to be landing a command center for the Terran player. He does have a missile turret here, and he's going to be coming here once again, harassing the supply depots in the back. And looks like he's going to give up and not come and repair it this time. And, and he's going to come to the back, and he's going to take down one of these missile turrets. But wow, those mules are not. Ooh, he actually did lose one that time. Army count 136 to 180. The APM for these players are incredible. 173 to 273. And the Zerg player is going to come in here to do some additional harassment, but he does fall back as there are a lot of missile terrors. Missile terrors are pretty cheap and they're very, very good against the Zerg, especially. There's a lot of bailings. If we take a look at the army composition, a lot of bailings. 46 bailings, 5 infestors, and a couple of mules. Some of those mules did die. And we might see a huge huge fight in right now uh, zerglings are swarming in the marines are very very smartly positioned in the back and wow those bailings clean up those tanks very very well fungal grove goes off another ooh actually he lost quite a bit of mules there to those massive marines and those marines ooh i think he had energy for one more fungal growth he had if he had fungal growth with these units just one more time they would have been dead but two one upgrades is the story of this game right now slightly more upgrades for the terran player as he was able to hold off that one very very nice charge from the zerg player savior and savior is grabbing an additional base right now and it looks like he's gonna try to macro ahead whereas the terran player is trying to keep defending and defending he is getting the last upgrade for his infantry army size 107 to 163 looks like he's gonna try to take down the new lee expansion that has recently gone up for the terran player he is coming across the top of the map a lot of zerglings a lot of bailings and but there is a lot of missile terrorists ready for those mules and they're going to come in here. These mules are going to try to take down some of these. Maybe he doesn't actually see this expansion. He has lost, it looks like, I think, three mules. Not worth it that time. These SCVs are repairing. And the planetary fortress is coming in. But these marines are able to easily defend against those 
Zerglings, and wow, he actually took on all those SCVs on the side while he's defending with the Marines against those Mutalists, and a couple of additional Mutalists along with Bailings are being spawned at the moment, and the third upgrade for the infantry is about 